All right, this is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with Capricorn. Pisces dealing with Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, and guides. Clarity and guidance for the Pisceans that are dealing with the sign of Capricorn. Let's do two cards. We'll do one for the Piscean. Single jumping cards only. We'll be taking them in a reading. Spirit, you know how to roll. All right, so be present, Pisces. Spirit's advice to you is be present. Sorry if you guys can't see that very well. Okay. All right. Show me, give me one for Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. And we get Sparkle and Shine, number 26. I wish you guys could see it better. So sparkle and shine for Capricorn and be present and be authentic. Okay, so I will be reading Pisces on this side, Capricorn on this side. Keep in mind, energy is fluid. Uh, the roles can reverse, so flip the roles if it does resonate. If it doesn't resonate, it's just not your story this time. All right, so let's do single jumping card. Show me Pisces overall energy, please. Pisces overall energy. Pisces overall. Oh, that came right out. The High Priestess. Okay. Coming out in your own energy, Pisces. So meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom that you receive. All right. So sit still. Stay quiet. Um, trust your intuition. Trust the wisdom that you receive. So you could be very quiet at this time, but be present. Be present was your advice. Stay quiet, but be present. So listen. Show me Capricorn. Overall energy, please, for a sign of Capricorn. The ones that are dealing with a Pisces. The ones that are dealing with a Pisces. We get the moon card. Pisces, Cancer energy. Um, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs. From the divine, unnecessary worry, let go of your fears, revelations that will make everything clear. Okay. So when the moon comes out, what's done in the dark will come to the light. I don't feel like it has yet. You need to listen to your intuition or Capricorn may be listening to both of you guys could be. So both of you guys could be kind of silent right now. Uh, maybe Capricorn has some type of fears, unnecessary fears. Um, I feel with divine timing, this will be made clear to them what they need to see. So there could be, you know, little to no contact between the two of you. Let's keep going. Show me Pisces emotions, please. Okay. Ten of swords reversed. Wow. Uh, who did I just do? Uh, Horus? No, I did Virgo. Virgo, I think, got the Ten of Swords for Pisces overall energy. Uh, so you're letting go of an ending, all right? Um, Ten of Swords in reverse. There was some type of an ending that has already happened. Um, the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction or a melodramatic reaction. Okay, so... Hmm. Pisces, you may be getting over some type of a breakup or some type of a betrayal or an ending. Spirit's advice to you is just to stay present. Also, like doing yoga or meditation. Um, turning inward to discover your soul's true desire. Stand, you know, the way he is standing there, if you guys can see him. It's like... <laughs> I'm thinking of that Brazilian butt workout video that we're doing. You have to do this one hard move and you stand on one leg and you have to have your arms all the way out in front of you and one leg up behind you in the air. And he says, fill your heart, fill your heart, fill, fill your blood flow, coming back to center, coming back to yourself. And <laughs> every time he says that, me and my, well, the, we're getting better at it now. But before when he used to say that, we're like, what the fuck? 
We couldn't even stand on one leg, let alone keep our arms out in front of us. And because he holds it for like 60 seconds or something like that, maybe two minutes. I don't know. He hold, no, 60 seconds. He holds it for a long fucking time. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> it used to seem so unrealistic, but now we're actually doing it. So when I see this card, it's like, be present, come back to center, like fill your body, um, Feel the blood going through your veins. That is your body. <laughs> what does he say? That is your body's uh, comeback. I don't know. He says something funny. Okay, whatever. Getting off subject here. Pisces. Sorry. I feel like you're getting over some type of an ending or a betrayal. I feel like you may be very quiet at this time, keeping to yourself. Um, searching searching your, your inner wisdom. For the answers that you seek. I feel like you're trusting these. Trusting the information that you're receiving. You're putting something in the past here. I feel like you're focused on yourself. You could be kind of quiet or withdrawn at this time. But I feel like it's just because... That's the Piscean energy, okay? When we get hurt or we get, uh, yeah, when we get hurt or upset, we get quiet, okay? At least I do as a Pisces. If I'm pissed, you won't hear from me. <laughs> I mean, that's not the only reason. But anyways, yeah. I feel like you're just letting go of these burdens. You're ready for something to be over. All right, show me Capricorn may not even be with the Capricorn. So Capricorn and their emotions, they got the Empress. They could be thinking about a baby's mom, um, their mother. They could be a mother. They could be in a very nurturing, caring, um, loving type of energy at this time. T it says take, can't read that far. Take time. No, time to take action. Oh my God, I cannot see. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. So Capricorn. I feel like Capricorn. Capricorn may be fearing. Okay. Depending on what side you're on. Okay. Capricorn may be fearing motherhood or um, the Empress is in their overall emotions, okay? Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects that will be successful, abundance, and prosperity. Being very fruitful, very fertile um, in their emotions. So, but their overall energy is the moon card. So it's like underlying fear, unnecessary worry. This person may feel like, like I'm not ready or they're missing information or... Mm. Yeah, they may be fearing the unknown, like fearing not being ready or, you know, fearing the boss put, you know, the empress position. Taking that leadership role. That's why their overall card of advice was sparkle and shine. It's time for this Capricorn to... Uh, Possibly believe in themselves. Stop fearing the unknown. Go for what it is that they want. This could also be somebody who's a fearing like commitment issues. Yeah, nine of swords. There's worry here. I haven't set my intention, so I'm going to put this back. But I'll read it to you guys. Unfounded fear. Expecting the worst. Thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies. Allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights and refocus your thoughts. I'm going to move. I'm not comfortable. Okay. So, yeah. I feel like this person, they have some type of fear or some type of worry that's like causing sleepless nights, getting out of hand. This person needs to refocus. It's time for this person to believe in what they don't know, I feel like. Okay. All right. Let's see. What is Pisces next move? Show me Pisces next move. The ones that are dealing with the Capricorn, please. If you like this reading or if it's resonating, please smash the thumbs up button for me. It helps me out a lot. 
Thank you to those of you guys who have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate y'all. And thank you for all the birthday wishes. Happy birthday to all you guys. Um, yeah, I haven't got a chance to respond to everybody, but I will. Okay, so your next move, you're going to take action. King of Wands coming out. All right, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, taking a leadership role, stepping into the spotlight, public speaking, keeping your eyes on the bigger picture, communicate your vision, don't be sensitive to criticism. So this is your next move. You're about to take action. You're about to take that leadership role, stepping into the spotlight. I just feel like you are gathering your thoughts, coming back to your own energy here, the high priestess, that is you, Pisces. I just heard refocus and recenter. And then I was looking at this card. So I'm like. Does that help? Okay. Yeah, refocus, recenter. I feel like you're very attractive. You have a plan um, or dream. You know, the King of Wands is very like passion, action oriented. If you want something, he goes, goes and gets it. Um, he or she, um, I feel like you're about to take action and step out into, into the spotlight step, stepping out. You may be a high priestess. Okay. Maybe doing something online as well. Some type of betrayal that happened in the past may have pushed you into this power play is what I want to say. This power play the high priestess, it was, okay. Whatever this betrayal is that you're feeling in your emotions, Pisces, this is in the past, okay? This has already happened. I feel like you've been very quiet. You've been studying. Getting into your own energy, the high priestess. You could be very secretive, very mystical, very mysterious. But you're taking action now. You're stepping out to the spotlight. This is your next move. First week of March. I don't know if I ever said that. That's what I'm doing these readings for. So, all right. It's time for you to communicate your vision. Keep your eyes on the big picture. And don't be sensitive to bullshit criticism. I mean, unless it's valid criticism, then, you know, go ahead and take that shit with a grain of salt. I've had to learn that the hard way. Okay, so moving on, Capricorn. What's Capricorn's next move, please? Show me Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. They get the Four of Pentacles. All right, so managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give and receive money, time or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white and being charitable. So this can also speak to somebody who's holding back, penny pinching, saving their coins. Um, you know, somebody here may give very freely, but they. So say if somebody gets paid, they may go spend their whole paycheck in one day and be like, damn, I ain't got shit now. Now I got a penny pinch for the next two weeks or till next payday, you know, so extremes and how they give and receive money and time. So this person. um is capable of making smart business decisions, but they may see things as black and white, like, you know, um, how do I want to say this? Like a traditional, I've never even read this card like this. This person may be very giving. Yes. Okay. But they may see things, see things in a very traditional way, like black and white, like, um, you know, they don't really think about spending all their money because they know they will have another check, but they don't really think about everything in between, like how many days you got and what other bills are due. It's like somebody that kind of is just like black and white, you know, and that's why it becomes a problem with this four of pentacles. Um, this could be why this person is holding back or needing to save, hold on to their finances, manage them wise better, I guess. So their next move. This person may be thinking about making some type of a charitable action. Um, this person may also hold back. You know, you won't see, hear from this person. 
they won't make any moves. I do see there's some fear and some worries about being emperor or an empress. Okay. Being, being a mother, being committed, being loyal, being successful, uh, very creative, able to grow something and nurture it or nurture something till it grows. However they say, it. okay. So let's move on. Pisces, one's dealing with these Capricorn. Show me their intentions. Pisces intentions when it comes to Capricorn. Two cards, I'm not taking those. Ten of Wands. Damn, you got two tens in your energy, Pisces. So you're definitely ending a situation here. Tens are endings. Ten of Wands. This is ending, you know, to the lot of a lot of burdens. Okay, you may be feeling overworked or working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in your life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. So you could find yourself overworked, stressed out. And you're ready to drop the burden, okay? You're ready to let this shit go because it's just like too much baggage to carry. Especially with this Ten of Swords. I feel like you're feeling heavily burdened by some type of betrayal that's still in your emotions here. It shows in the reverse. So this is in the past, Pisces, but it's still showing in your emotions, okay? So you're still feeling the after effects of a betrayal, possibly. And this is causing a lot of burdens. You, you want to you wanna get rid of this out of your energy, you want to take action. You may have some spiritual gifts here with this high priestess, King of Wands. You may be a public speaker or, you know, using your gifts to help or aid others. Or thinking about it. Maybe you have a vision about this. Like maybe you had an, you know, a vision, an epiphany, an idea, whatever. You know, something came to you. But I still feel like you're feeling burdened by some type of an ending and a betrayal. Your intentions, you want to just fucking like, you want to just like take your emotions out of your body and throw them in a basket and then set the basket on fire and let it burn. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's move over to Capricorn. Let me know if that's how you feel. <laughs> okay. Capricorn, yellow Pisces. Show me their intentions. Show me Capricorn's intentions when it comes to Pisces. Wow, Knight of Cups, followed by Strength, Leo Energy. So again, somebody who may have been holding back, I feel like their intentions, they wanna come and offer you love. You could be a baby's mom you could be pregnant there could have been some type of an ending and a betrayal here and I feel like this person is scared or fearing fearing the unknown maybe this person is even fearing some secrets coming out maybe about some money that was withheld from you Ooh. okay all right, Knight of Cups, romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, the lack of balance in a relationship, situations, or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. So this person may come in and try and romance you, okay? Maybe come in with some type of an apology, some type of sincere, flirtatious, romantic, whatever, um, after a period of you know, not giving. I feel like their, their issues, they fear something. They're scared of something here. I keep getting that. Hmm. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Capricorn. I see you standing in a very powerful energy over here. Wow, the sun wanting to come out in reverse. I kind of fumbled it, so I'm not going to take it, but... Somebody here may be very unhappy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Or somebody may be, oh, trying to prevent something from coming to the light with the sun card in the reverse. And that's what I'm getting with this moon card. I feel like somebody's worried about something coming out. Maybe about a baby's mom. Maybe somebody got somebody pregnant and that's what they're scared. 
are worried. Maybe that's why they're holding back. They want to come and offer an apology or express their emotions. I feel like you've already let this betrayal go, but I still feel like you're holding on to the burden part of it. Like it's still weighing. If it's still showing up in your emotions, your intentions is to let go of the fucking burden. But it's still here in your emotions. So it's like the Ten of Swords is something that already happened in the past. Right? Could have also been dealing with a Leo or someone who has Leo in their chart. Um, yeah. Somebody may be trying to stop something from coming to the light. Intuitively, Pisces, I feel like you already know. Mm. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Capricorn, please. Too many. Outcome between Pisces and Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles. So this talks about investments, seeds well planted, efforts for investments that will be rewarded in the near future. The need for patience, the time of resting and planning for our future, unnecessary worry. Okay, so you may be um, worried about something like some seeds that you have planted, something that you invested into. Spirit is saying there's unnecessary worry. These these seeds will take harvest. It takes time and patience, okay? Then we get the angel of balance here, Saggy energy. Uh, blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise. The power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. So there's a lot about patience and staying balanced here. This dude has one foot in the water and one foot on earth. So you may need to balance out like your emotions along with your earthly issues. I mean, I shouldn't say issues, your earthly um, duties, okay? Like taking care of the bills, the finances, the job, the car, and your emotions, okay? So keep an equal balance of both. Stay patient, stay balanced, worry less. There could have been something that you invested in a while back too. Um, you could be getting close to seeing the return uh, or the harvest of whatever this was that you invested into. <sighs> Definitely ain't the stock market. <laughs> Still, seriously though. No. Okay. More for the outcome between Pisces and Capricorn. Pisces and Capricorn. I'm getting divine timing. Something here. Um, I feel like something's going to be balanced out in due time. So I feel like this isn't this. You're dealing with someone Pisces who you're in no contact with. I feel like you've done a lot of introspection. You're ready to take action. You're ready to leave the past in the past and let go of these burdens. However, Capricorn over here, I feel like it's time for them to, you know, sparkle and shine. Step out of this fear, this worry about this empress or, you know, whatever the situation is. I see that they want to come in and offer their cup of love. But again, they're holding back. That's their next action versus their intentions. Okay, so then we get transformation. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations. Breaking free of procrastination and releasing old belief systems. All right. So the situation will transform. Wow, look at the world. Uh, the situation is going through a transformation. Endings bring new beginnings. Um, I feel like something had to shift or change within this dynamic between the two of you. And that's possibly why there was this ending and this betrayal. There was a reason that you guys went through this. Um, I'm getting the sense that this could be like an ex 
and possibly whoever's on this side may have stepped out, may have gotten someone pregnant, may have a baby's mother. They may be fearing coming towards you and that's why they're holding back. They want to. I don't feel like they're with the other person anymore, the baby's mom or karmic or whoever that is. But I feel like they're, they're worried about this coming out. I feel like this betrayal, this person did this to you a while back, Pisces. If this is the story, this has already happened, but it happened for a reason. It was so you could step into your life's purpose with this high priestess over here, King of Wands. So you could, so you could take action. You're very good at something. You have a lot of passion, a lot of drive for something, a lot of inner wisdom, a lot of intuition, you know, hidden knowledge. I feel like this burden, you just need to drop these sticks, drop this burden, okay? There will be a transformation in this situation. I feel like all this had to happen. There was an ending, so something new could transform. In due timing, like I was saying, I was feeling in something about balance in the Seven of Pentacles. Something within due timing. I feel like you two are going to come back together. The World Card can also speak to success. There may be distance between the two of you. This, you know, you guys may have relocated or something. Brilliant success, a joyful time of accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. So I feel like you're getting some type of success. You could be doing something world noun or, you know, you could be traveling as well. Um, either way, I feel like whatever this transformation in transformation is, sorry, my nose is so stuffed up. I can't like hear myself right now. Okay. Um, whatever this transformation is, it was so you could step out into the world. So you could step into your success. It was to balance the situation out here. Whatever this betrayal, this ending was, it was a, it was to teach someone some lessons. Okay. To come back as better. So then we get the nine of wands, protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Uh, environmental activism or animal rights. So you may be feeling a little bit guarded when it comes to your success, your achievements. Um, I feel like you went through a lot here. In the outcome within this week, I do see you balancing out your emotions and, you know, getting back to center, getting grounded again with this angel of balance. I do feel like your harvest, you know, whatever seeds you have planted, those will be, you know, starting to take bloom. I do feel in your current energy, you may be feeling a little bit burdened or weighed down. Maybe you're feeling the aftershocks of a betrayal that happened in the past or an ending. But overall, I feel like you're ready. You're ready, Pisces. The High Priestess with the King of Wands, you're ready. You're ready to take action. It's time to be present. Okay, be present. I feel like Capricorn may have gotten into a karmic relationship and they're worried about telling you or expressing this. They are hiding their emotions right now. They may see you as their empress, but they're holding back. They do want to come in and offer their love and an apology. There could have been some ego issues here on the bottom of the deck. The illusion of being trapped, accepting responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support and push you to happiness, addictions or unhealthy habits. So someone here may have had some addictions, unhealthy habits, ego issues, but I feel like this, this fell apart in order to get you guys to a better place, okay? To break these chains that were constricting the both of you. You could be feeling guarded, trying to protect what, what you have created, Pisces, and that is completely normal. All right. So let's get two messages, one for Pisces, one for Capricorn, to sum up this reading. If you guys like this or it resonated in any way, please hit that like button. All right, Pisces, give me one love message for Pisces. Capricorn, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life. 
regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So close your eyes. Tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And I see in your emotions and your intentions, you're heavily burdened by an ending and a betrayal. So I feel like you got some shit that happened in the past or an ending weighing heavy on you at this time. Could have to do with the planetary aspects as well. Um, but I feel like you are ready to take action. You need to close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to allow love and joy into your heart. Okay? Capricorn, we get weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Again, divine timing. That's what I strongly feel. I feel like something here will happen in divine timing. You guys are going through some type of transformation. Uh, I do feel like it will be a success. Things will be balanced out. Um, and this could be a good investment, but I feel that right now somebody has their guards up. For real, for real. So wait, don't rush into it. Capricorn, do not rush in with this Knight of Cups, okay? Wait just a little longer. Okay, wait just a little longer. I will do another one of these readings in a few days. So uh, stay on the lookout for that one or hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.